Hello everybody, before we get into the weekly forecast, just a quick update. We are now at 32% for the Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program with you guys' gifting. Thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you who has given. Um, they, I have been looking through my notebook because I've been writing down everybody who's given, trying to keep track of when I have been able to give you Reiki in return. And I've noticed that there's a lot of people that have not gotten back to me. And that's okay if you don't want the Reiki in return. Um, but if you do, and maybe you didn't see an email come in from me, um, you know, you may want to check your spam folder right around the time that um, you donated. Uh, because I have sent emails out to every single person who has donated um, as a thank you and with the offer of the, the Reiki gift that I would like to give back so that we have sort of a gift exchange here. Um, so if you haven't seen an email from me and you have given a gift anywhere along throughout this campaign, please be assured I do have your name written down and I am just hoping to hear from you. I would love to be able to return a gift to you. Um, I know some of you have the idea that when you gift, you don't expect a gift back and you don't want a gift back. And if that's the way you want to handle it, you know, then I, I respect that. But for those of you who would like to have the gift back then, and you haven't seen any message from me, please contact me so that we can schedule that. And so that, um, yeah, so we can schedule that and figure out where to focus your Reiki energy so that we can bring better things about in your life than are, than are right now. Okay, so enough of that. Let's see, 32% is where we are. I'm excited, one more percent, and we're at the one-third mark, yay. <laughs> Thank you all so much. And now on with the forecasts. Hello there Aquarius, thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of October the 3rd through the 9th. What we have coming up for you Aquarius on Monday is the Three of Swords. Now the Three of Swords there really isn't a way to sugarcoat it, this is about some kind of heartache. This can be a wide range of things though. This can be anything from the betrayal of a significant other all the way to something that's caused by something you see on the news that just tugs in your heart and kind of sticks with you and troubles you. So some kind of heartache showing up on Monday, Aquarius. On Tuesday, what we have, by the way, for all the people out there who complain about the reverse cards, do you see this card? It is not reversed. And it's not a very positive meaning. Okay. <laughs> I have a lot of reverse cards that have positive meanings. I have a lot of upright cards, a few upright cards that have negative meanings. Everybody, please quit crying about reversed cards. Okay. Nine of clubs showing up in reverse on Tuesday, Aquarius. Coming down off of my soapbox there. Nine of clubs in reverse is just telling me that there's something... There's a project that you've been trying to tie up loose ends on. Um, this project has run its course, it's done what it's supposed to do, and now it's time to just sort of pack it all up and put it away until the next time that you need to do something similar. And so I feel like you are actually trying to do that on Tuesday. Um, generally, um, this card does talk about there being challenges to getting that completely done on Tuesday although it's not for lack of putting in effort. So um, it does feel like it will be completely put away and all the loose ends tied up very quickly. Uh, I just don't really foresee you finishing that on Tuesday. On Wednesday, Aquarius, what we have coming up is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords talks about leaving something negative behind, so some kind of negative influence on your life. This can be a negative thought pattern. This can be a toxic relationship. This can be um, a job that where you were being held back. This could be really in any area of your life. But it's letting something that, was, that had a negative impact on you, it's letting that go and moving forward. Um, when we see this card, you don't yet know what the new normal is going to look like. You just know that you don't want that thing in your life anymore. Moving on to Thursday, King of Clubs in reverse. Let me back up. It's not that you don't want this thing in your life anymore. It's that you will not tolerate that negative thing in your life anymore. Sorry, just needed to clarify that. Okay, so Thursday we have the clink. Excuse me, the King of Clubs in reverse. And the King of Clubs in reverse is just telling me that 
Is this Aquarius or is this someone they're dealing with? Okay, so somebody that you're interacting with on Thursday is feeling pretty stumped about something. This is someone who's usually really good at solving things and uh, finding solutions to problems, but they're feeling stumped about some kind of problem that's in their own life. And I think that they may be coming to you kind of hoping to get some kind of insight from you. For some of you, this person will be very upfront with, I have this problem, can you help me? That type of thing. Uh, for others of you, this person will just kind of wander around the mulberry bush because they don't want to admit that they have the problem. And yet they're still going to be trying to find out whatever information they can pick your brain for. Either way it goes down, I do feel like this person is looking for some kind of information or help with problem solving from you. Now, let's look at Friday. Here we have the Temperance card, which is a really great card. It tells me that things are balanced. Things are becoming healed, especially emotionally in your life. This is a card of, really, of balance. It's not a card of great, great, great joy. It's not a card of great, great, great despair. It's really a card of balance. Everything moving the way it should. Everything moving forward the way it should. All the gears clicking just exactly the way they should. It's a card that talks about knowing your direction and being able to follow that um, in a steady, healthy way. doesn't necessarily have to be slow, but a steady, healthy way. Okay? Now, looking at Saturday, what we have showing up is the Ten of Cups in reverse. And the Ten of Cups in reverse is telling me that there's some kind of situation in your life on Saturday that is not making you very happy. It may be a relationship that you were hoping to move forward with is actually moving backwards. Could be a project that you're really into and enjoying that you thought was getting ready, was on the edge of moving forward, and now instead it's being held back or possibly moving backwards, something like that. Something that normally makes you happy, not making you so happy on Saturday. Sunday, Three of Clubs showing up. The Three of Clubs just tells me that um, you've done something to create a new reality in your life and you've done as much as you can, now you're sort of at a holding point where you're waiting to see what the response is going to be to what you've done to know if this new reality that you want to create is going to be able to move forward in the way that you've started it. So really waiting to see what your response is to the energy that you've already invested. Okay? So that is your week, Aquarius. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see some of you back here for Reiki sessions and some of you back here for readings. Everybody else, I'll see you right here for the next video. Everyone, peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves. And I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass it on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. 
If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no do donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy and to check in with you see how you're feeling that type of thing um, anybody who donates anything more than $50 what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars so say you donate $50 then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send, not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly, otherwise I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.